hi guys and welcome to my youtube channel cosmic chick today i'll be showing you how to do a simple easy at home pedicure so let's go ahead and jump right into it here's what you'll need so you'll need a foot scrubbing brush a soft and a hard purpose stone a four-way block a base coat a cherry glaze top coat and I use this OPI nail liqueur with this pedicure also some fingernail files a nail pusher a pair of toenail clippers and a pair of cuticle cutters now these tools will be used in the water whether you have a foot spa or some type of bucket that you use your feet in I prefer to do mines in the bathtub, but it's all up to you. Just be sure to soak your feet for about 10 to 15 minutes uh, before going ahead and beginning the rest of the process. You'll use the firm pumice stone first and then go over that with the softer pumice stone. And then um, I like to use the scrub brush to scrub around my cuticles and underneath my toenails and it also doesn't hurt to give the bottom of your foot a scrub as well so here's what my feet look like fresh out of the water and the first thing i did was started with my cuticle cutter and just lightly pinch and grab any loose or dead skin all around the toe area you don't want to do it too harshly and pull the skin too much because it may hurt so if it hurts then it's not being done right you'll do that for each and every toe And you're going to want to see the dead skin in between your cuticle cutters that lets you know that you're doing it right and getting all of the dead skin from around your toe and cuticle areas. Now you're going to want to take your cuticle pusher and go ahead and begin pushing back your cuticles. This tool pushes the skin from your cuticles back and away from your nails, which promotes and helps your nails grow stronger. You'll do that for every toe. And also your cuticle pusher can be used to remove dirt from underneath your toenails. So there's two different ways that I go ahead and begin filing my nails. One is with the handheld powered filer. And the other way is just with the regular nail file. Also, you'll go ahead and begin shaping your nails with this file. I prefer mine to be kind of straight across and square. I don't really like to use toenail clippers unless my toenails are just really extremely long. I prefer to just give them shape so I can keep as much length as possible. Next, you'll go ahead and use your four-way. The first step is to shape, and I already really shaped it with the other file, but I'm just gonna go over it one more time just to make sure I have my toenails as straight as possible. Next step is part two, which is the smoothing side. So you will just go ahead and smooth over each toe, just like so. 
step three, you'll go ahead and use the buffer and just buff out any flaws. If there's any like remaining nail polish, this is the step you wanna go ahead and get that removed with. And lastly, step four, you'll go ahead and use the shine side, which just kind of evens everything out. So next, you'll want to rinse your feet off in warm water, and here's mine fresh out. This step is optional, but I like to use the oil to give my feet the shiny and luster fresh pedicure look. And I'll do this for each and every toe. Rub it into my skin really good. And next you're going to want to just wipe off your toenails to get the excess oil off. It works much better if you use alcohol, but just using a dry towel works well. So it's time to apply the polish. And I started with my P2 base coat. For the most part, I'm able to paint my toes or fingers without getting polish um, on my skin. But if you're not that good with it, I suggest using like Kids Glue Glue and that'll help uh, you clean up the excess much easier. So next, I apply my homemade cherry glaze it's really hard to find in stores the only place i've ever found it at is sally's beauty supply but i ended up losing it and haven't been able to find it since so in another video i could tell you how i made this glaze but you'll just go ahead and apply that perfectly onto each toe. Next up, the Nola Care. So this is used to dry the nails quickly and also is just a harder version of a regular nail polish. When I do my clear, Manicures or pedicures, I, I love to use this. It's actually a must that I have this so I don't feel like my manicure or pedicure looks the same. And lastly, you're going to use a top coat. Uh, this Sally Hansen is my favorite, so you'll go ahead and take it and just simply paint over each. And voila, all finished. Just allow it to dry for about 10 minutes if even that especially with using the look hair and you're ready to go so simple so cute pretty and I am ready to go ahead and finish off my self-care Sunday and if you like this video please don't forget to like comment share subscribe all of that well Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.